What's up, my people? This is Oge Kimono. Me call myself the reggae ambassador, but still the African dancehall queen. Okay, Kimono is uh, the first offspring of the legendary Rice Kimono, and uh, I am a reggae artist. I would say a reggae musician. <laughs> well, um, I've been doing music for quite a couple of years, but I haven't been in the Nigerian scene. I have been abroad for a while. But I decided to come back home, you know, and bring it back to where it started from, take it from the roots again, and that's why I'm here. I was born in Lagos State, but I was bred in the east, in the eastern part of Nigeria, where I did my basics, which is the nursery, the primary, and part of my secondary school. Uh, I finished off in a secondary school in Akwaibom State. I mean, I'm full-fledged Nigerian like that. <laughs> um, yeah, after high school, I decided to go abroad, you know, and um, there I tried to find my feet before I came back to Nigeria. Uh, right now I'm actually doing uh, part-time studies with University of Abuja and I'm studying economics. No, no, no more. We no, no, no more. We can take no more. Well, uh, I, I actually knew right from the time that I would delve into music, but uh, I, I didn't know it would be reggae music because growing up as a kid, I, I wasn't a big fan of reggae music, I must say. I was more into country music, R&B, jazz, you know. And um, I remember growing up when you go to, when I go to my friend's birthday parties, the played Rastuono, Araba Stalin, Natigi Ejiji, all the kids would go crazy. But I always made sure they never played them kind of songs on my birthday. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't know. I just didn't get into the <laughs> whole reggae thing. But um, at the age of 15, 16, I started listening more to the lyrics of reggae music and that's when I started connecting, you know, I had a one-on-one -on -one connection with reggae music and that's when I knew that was what I wanted to do, you know. And of course, uh, coupled with the fact that I come from a reggae background, you know, I, I guess it just flew in the blood. It just, everything just kind of like, <laughs> kind of like came together, you know. I don't think it came as a surprise to my dad at all because uh, the first time I ever performed on the stage was with him. <laughs> so um, it was uh, it was more or less like, okay, it's she she wants to do this now, you know. I, I had always wanted to do it, but the fact that I was in school then, he didn't want anything interfering with my basic education and stuff, you know. So uh, it was after high school that I said, okay, I want to do this. And he, he 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 was cool with it. He didn't have any problems with it. So it, it, it was all full support for my family from day one. I am here with my lady and the family not here. Family-wise, I haven't had any challenges so far. <laughs> but in the industry, yes, I have had challenges. You know, challenges in the sense that. Uh, I was out of the country for a while and then coming back, uh, I met a couple of people that told me, oh, you sing well, but it's reggae. Reggae doesn't sell. And I'm like, oh, for real? Okay. They're like, reggae music is dead. I said, well, I'm here to resurrect it, you know? <laughs> I mean, Jesus 
resurrected Lazarus from the dead, you know. I, I'm not trying to compare myself to, to, uh, with Jesus, but I mean, I am a child of God, so <laughs> I believe that I can resurrect things too, you know, and that is what I have come to do to resurrect reggae music. And um, for the fact that I am female as well, you know, um, it's been quite challenging because a couple of people would tell you, uh, uh, you're pretty, you can do something else, you know, why do you have to do reggae music? Is it because your father is a reggae artist, you know? So it, it's always kind of like, uh, nerve wracking to always explain to people, listen, I'm not doing reggae music because I'm Raskimono's daughter. I'm doing reggae music because it's what I love and it's what I, I, I want to do, you know, so. Um, and as much as there had been a couple of criticism, I'm, I'm, I'm out for it. That's what I chose and I'm ready to shoulder the responsibility. When I listen to a couple of music here in Nigeria, they really don't have any message, you know. Everybody's all about partying and uh, drinking and dining and whining, you know. Uh, there, there are some situations on the ground that people don't talk about, you know. I mean, these are things that we should, we should actually call attention to, you know. And I see music as a way of speaking for the people. I'm not saying don't do your party thing, you know. I, I do have a couple of party songs as well, you know. But uh, we need to we need to strike a balance and, and and know when to party and know when to speak reality, you know. And and that that's what I'm doing. My usual word to everybody, to my fans out there, to everybody watching, to everybody listening, is don't lose faith and don't lose hope. Trust in the most high and trust me, everything will work out smooth. And anything that is so difficult to crack, get a hammer and crack it. I mean, say so. <laughs> Job bless.